can you hear me? Professor Stephen Hawking was born January 1942 in Oxford, England. 300 years to the day after Galileo's death. Galileo, perhaps more than any other single person, Galileo was responsible for the birth of modern science. Stephen Hawking is the most renowned physicist in science time, which was his nickname at the St. Albans Girls' School, which he attended. Even though some of his classmates did not believe he could possibly do well, they were wrong. He is, he is one, one of the one most of recognized and celebrated scientists of his era. The downside of my celebrity is that I cannot go anywhere in the world without being recognized. It is not enough for me to wear dark sunglasses and a wig. The wheelchair gives me away. In a career that has spanned 40 years, he's written books. His first book sold over 20 million copies. He's a ubiquitous presence on the air, with hundreds of TV appearances including some of the most popular shows of our time. Life would be tragic if it weren't funny. <laughs> For 30 years he was Lucasian Professor of Mathematics at the Department of Applied Mathematics and Theoretical Physics at Cambridge. The post once held by Isaac Newton. He has spent his career looking for the answer to big questions. My goal is simple. It is a complete understanding of the universe, why it is as it is, and why it exists at all. And he's a Capricorn, who loves curry, but is not particularly fond of Schrodinger's cat. When I hear mention of Schrodinger's cat, I want to reach for my gun. Stephen Hawking. And although he can no longer speak, having lost the ability to do so in 1985, he has one of the most recognized voices the world over, courtesy of his voice synthesizer. For millions of years, mankind lived just like the animals. Then something happened which unleashed the power of our imagination. We learned to talk and we learned to listen. Speech has allowed the communication of ideas, enabling human beings to work together to build the impossible. Mankind's greatest achievements have come about by talking, and its greatest failures by not talking. It doesn't have to be like this. Our greatest hopes could become reality in the future. With the technology at our disposal, the possibilities are unbounded. All we need to do is make sure we keep talking, keep talking, keep talking, keep talking, keep talking, keep talking. His name adorns buildings around the world, and now a complete center for research, training and outreach at the Perimeter Institute in Ontario, Canada. He even has an asteroid named after him. Oh, and he's done a bit of science in his spare time. His principal fields of research have been theoretical cosmology and quantum gravity. What I have done is to show that it is possible for the way the universe began to be determined by the laws of science. And he is most renowned for his work on the Big Bang singularity and the quantum nature of black holes. Science. He helped prove that we must go beyond Einstein, and the discovery of Hawking radiation pointed the way. Science. It was the first really concrete step towards quantum gravity, the tying together of Einstein's theory of gravity and quantum theory. His other scientific investigations have included. And he's done all this while being challenged by a motor neuron disease known as ALS, which he has lived with for 40 years. My expectations were reduced to zero when I was 21. Everything since then has been a bonus.